Hi everyone, it's Paola. Welcome back to my graphic design channel. Hopefully you recently saw that I was on Adobe Live. Oh my god, so exciting. Um, so go check that out. I'll have that linked below. Follow me on Instagram to keep up with my designs and let's get into today's video because I'm excited. So I have a Patreon if you guys don't know. Um, so you can become a patron to help support the running of this channel. Um, but that kind of ties into today's video. So I wanted to make them something special. I always make my patrons like different designs, prints, stuff like that so I wanted to make like a January calendar page for 2022 and that's what we're going to be designing today so in this video I'm going to be designing a calendar that's kind of like just calendar design layout um, some lettering um, just kind of like a fun page project and then we're gonna put it into a mock-up and this video today is sponsored by Envato Elements so we're gonna use a mock-up from there and I'll talk about that in a bit so let's get into the designing shall we okay so we're gonna be making this in Illustrator so I'm going going to be doing an 11 by 14 document um, just because that's kind of like art print size and I like the calendar to be maybe an art print size because this is going to be a digital print um, it's not for printing we're in RGB so let's go into the designing now that we have our document set up I want to do some numbers um, which 2022 all you have to do is two numbers so it kind of works out perfectly um, so let's kind of just like start i have some strong ideas so let's get into it so i'm gonna start with um just kind of like circling out some shapes some oval shapes and of course starting in black because i don't want to get ahead of myself so i'm gonna start here and i'm gonna start carving out kind of a two shape from this oval Actually, let's start in outlines. Um, I just added an anchor point and let's go from there. So I've kind of done this interesting little <laughs> shape in between to start making that two shape. So I'm actually going to delete some anchor points from here. And to just make sure we're doing lines evenly, I'm going to be kind of shifting with a guide, shifting our shapes. This is what I love about lettering is that you can just make up what you're doing as you go and just see what looks good and like change it up. Who cares what you're really doing, you know? <laughs> so just in case there's any problems, we need to just create this and unite it as a shape. Um, and then we can start kind of changing it up. But now I'm going to just fill it in to see what it looks like as a full shape, which really changes the look and really changes like your mind on things. Now I'm going to make a different type of shape here um, just to carve out the actual two shape. And now that we've put these shapes on top, just kind of referencing where we want, we can highlight everything and then on the Pathfinder tool hit minus front. So as you can see that like actually really changed it. So let's kind of um, adjust. I love how odd these shapes are and there's just so much that you can like do with this you know it's just like all about manipulation and figuring out what you like so that's kind of our weird little two which i really appreciate um and we're gonna kind of tilt it maybe this way so that's our two um okay let's make our zero obviously we want that same kind of energy that we're doing with the with the two so i'm gonna make that same shape on top again um, in a contrasting color just so we can see and I'm gonna kind of put it right here like off-center um, let's see how that looks if we just minus the front Okay, I just scrunched it 
and I actually kind of like that because I was wanting it to be kind of like on top of each other 2022 so let's go with that so let's keep it going and make the rest of the calendar add some color make it fun make it pop let's do this <laughs> Okay, so for this, I'm going to just put in like January and then do the days of the month with the, the days of the week, um, just kind of like small, just because this is like the beginning of the year. I just wanted it to be kind of like a creative little calendar. I'm going to be using this font Brie, which I really like. Um, it is on Adobe Fonts. So now all we have to do is add in the days of the week and the date. So again, in the Brie font, I'm going to go obviously way down and fill that in. So there we have our calendar page and I think it looks so good. So now we're going to take it into our mock-up. And that brings me to today's sponsor. So today's video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Envato Elements delivers unlimited access to over 55 million assets like fonts, photos, video templates, WordPress themes, Photoshop templates, all that stuff. They offer really simple licensing for when you download your elements and you can use those even after having a subscription with them. So as you can see here, I went on to Envato and I started checking out all of the templates and stuff. So I wanted to put this into a mock-up so it could look like a realistic calendar page. It was so easy to find and honestly, everything they have on there just looks such good quality. It's like, instead of going all over the internet to find something, I can find everything right here. They even have like photos and even fonts to use. It's just actually amazing that you can find so much on there. So if you click on the link in the description, you can get 50% off. And that's with an annual subscription, so that's like basically getting everything for less than $20 a month. So thank you so much to Envato Elements for sponsoring. Let's put this mock-up into use. So here is the mock-up that I downloaded and it was super easy and I think it looks really cute. So let's just go with this one. Um, all I have to do is click into where it says your design here. So I'm just going to make another layer and bring in my copied elements from my layout. So let's just save that. And if you are unfamiliar with mockups, I have videos on that. So check that out on my channel, but we just save that and then bring it in here and, and then we can start adjusting the size from there. Okay, so we've copied in that, but to change the paper color, some mockups have paper color and some don't. So what I'm going to do is just bring in our color for reference and then create a new fill layer. And then we're going to eye drop that color, use the fill bucket and fill that whole layer. As you can see, it's in the front. So I'm going to pull it to behind our layer and then delete that little square that we just had as a reference point. So I'm just going to save that and see how that looks. There we go. So it's fairly easy to change the paper color. Some mockups have paper color change or some just you bring in your own color. But there is our calendar page that we have designed today. And honestly, it turned out so amazing. And Envato Elements really, really elevated this work. Like even saying that without the sponsor, it actually really did elevate my work here. Okay, everyone. So that was all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some inspiration from it. Maybe um, if you did like it, please give it a like on my channel. It helps me a lot. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you want to see next. I love designing things for you guys and just like doing fun projects like this. So let me know what else you'd like to see and I'll see you in my next one. Okay. Bye. So we are not screen recording. We need to be screen recording or else you guys are not gonna know what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs>